Hi everybody, Paul here. Today I want to talk to you about mass airflow sensors and what happens if you have a bad one and you don't replace it. So stay tuned. So this is what my mass airflow sensor looks like. Yours might look a little different. These are actually little computers or microprocessors and most of them have two wires like the one you see right here which is the actual sensor. It'll also have an electrical connection like the one you see here so you can connect it on and off. Mass airflow sensors play a very important role in the performance of your vehicle and basically what it does is it measures how much air is going into the engine and then determines how much fuel to send to the engine. And normally your vehicle will have just one mass airflow sensor. Your mass airflow sensor does occasionally need to be cleaned to keep your engine running at optimum performance. When you clean your mass airflow sensor, only use cleaner specifically for mass airflow sensors and don't touch these wires with your fingers or anything else. If you don't perform routine air filter maintenance on your engine, then your mass airflow sensor will get dirty much quicker. If you don't replace a bad mass airflow sensor, it will cause reduced gas mileage, very hard starting, stalling, engine hesitation during acceleration, and will run too rich or too lean. It will also eventually harm oxygen sensors, spark plugs, and catalytic converters. So you've got to get it replaced when it goes bad or it will end up costing you a lot more money. Also when your check engine light stays on, it could be because your mass airflow sensor has gone bad. Of course you need to check the vehicle with a computer scanner to know if that's the problem for sure. As far as cost goes, I just checked on eBay and this particular Denso mass airflow sensor, which is from a 2006 Toyota Camry, was $25. And that was a really good price. They can cost more or less than that depending on where you shop and the make and model of your vehicle. I'll post another video at the end of this video showing you how to locate, remove and replace, and how to clean your mass airflow sensor. If you've never done that before, it's all very easy to do. Also just be advised that if you do replace or clean your mass airflow sensor, there's a good likelihood that your check engine light will come on and it might take up to 50 miles of driving for your check engine light to turn back off. So I hope that helps somebody out there and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.